Hello guys and welcome to another video. Now I'm very excited about this video I'm bringing you guys because it's something about the culture in Trinidad and Tobago, especially the Islamic culture. We're going to take a deeper look at Jose in Trinidad. I am at one of the houses where we actually have a taja and that's it behind me. Check it out. Isn't it fantastic? Now there is a lot of history and over this video I hope to bring it to you and share more of that history as best as I can. And I'm actually in a yard where 177 years they have been keeping up this ritual, this tradition. I am just so excited about it guys. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. So we're here in Bis Ali and I'm here with Jamil Bisna and he's going to give us a little tour but also give us a little more history. It'll be good to get more meaning. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Bis Ali Yad. Hussein, as we know it in Trinidad, mm -hmm. really the Husseini procession, Ashura procession, Maharam procession. Throughout the world they have the, the Maharam or Ashura procession. Maharam being the first month in Islamic year and Ashura being the 10th. Ashura means 10th tenth or 10th tenth day of. In the year 680 AD, Imam Hussein was martyred on the plains of Karbala with his brother Abbas and 70 other followers of his family and friends. And since that day in 680 AD, the Shia Muslim, Shia meaning the follower of Ali, they observe. So this is a Shia Muslim commemoration. This is not a festival, it is a commemoration. commemoration. It's not a festive right, moment, festive. Right? right? From Ashura, Ashura night, mm -hmm. for 40 days we mourn as well until right. Arbaid. Imam Hussein and his followers in Karbala. Imam Hussein died in Karbala for a great reason, as to his brother Hassan, who died 10 years prior to his, his death. And Imam Hassan had, had signed a peace treaty with Moria, which was the leader at the point in time. After his demise, his brother had realized that the practice of Islam would change and, and it was not suited as the Prophet Sallallahu has told us. And he could not have accepted that. He opposed Moria at the point in time, and that is how he left Mecca and he was traveling and he got surrounded by 30,000 soldiers in Karbala. He was going to get allegiance with other Muslims and he was surrounded, and there, and there he was. He was starved, he was blocked from the Euphrates, the river to get water and food. And that is how they massacre him during the, the 10 days of Muharram. And when they turned up Muharram, that is where they, they actually killed him. We claim us some misconceptions with Husay. Husay is not a festival, it is a Shia Muslim commemoration. It is religious in origin. Yes, it has the cultural identity, which in Trinidad we have it with the tassel drumming and the community is a community event. But we don't lose the, 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 the purpose where it came from the Genesis, it is religious. It is very fast, we do first. One, flag night. Flag night is the eighth night of Muharram. On flag night, it is dedicated to Abbas. Abbas was not killed on flag night. Abbas was killed on the 10th day of Ashura with Hussein and the others. But that night is dedicated to him and the others as he being his standard bearer with the flag. He was the son of the flag, so right when you see the flag or the alarm, that represents Abbas. Mm -hmm. The hand of Abbas, so this is why we have I'm it. here in St. James with my niece. My sister and I is somewhere in the back there. And we're in Hussein. Now tonight should be the flag night. I hope you guys can hear me, but the Tassa is beating there and we're seeing the flags. So let's go and check it out.
Ali Asghar, which was the sixth one, whole son of Imam Hussein. He was slaughtered in the plains of Karbala. He is the only person who was buried on that same night. This is why these small tajas are built in remembrance of him. And those tajas are thrown away to the sea immediately after because he was buried the same. <laughs> Ashura, that is when the Husay comes out, the 10th night of Ashura goes into the 10th day because a day starts at sunset for Islam at Maghrib to Maghrib the next day. This is why Ashura night starts on the evening of the ninth day of Ashura, that is when the Ashura and 10th of Ashura start. And this is why Abbe Husay night, that the Tajas will come out and the Tajas represent the tomb of Hussein and the others. Will so we're on the St. James Main Road, as you see it has a lot more people tonight than the flag night. We saw one of boats there. We just saw one come up here, so we're going down there to check it out. But well, this is what it's all about, is seeing all the different mausoleums being paraded up and down with the beating of the tassa. Continuation of the night, where we will come out on the streets with it. We go to the college where on QRC ground. Permission was granted in 1854 from Governor Harris and Queen Victoria to perform prayers in that parcel of land. It was not given specifically to no one person. It was stated that permission was granted to the coolies. In those days, the coolies or the Muslims of the community of St. James and surrounding area. In those days, it had no Queen's Royal College. It was government farm, grazing land. So you pay a shilling to get your cows and donkey and horses to go and graze. 1899, they removed the government from the Valsin and they started to develop St. Clair into residential plots. And this is how they came and they moved Queen's Royal College. They were first, this was first built at Prince's Building Ground. And Queen's Royal College got their home there. And the college was open. And this is how Hussey maintained Mm -hmm. Still going there, so it has been going there even before the existence of Queen's Royal College. We're in St. James again. So today is the big Hussey that happens during the day where they go and they do routes all over, start by QRC and then they end up on St. James. We're on the St. James main road. As you can see, it's blocked off, so that's why we're walking down the middle. 
usually it's bumper to bumper yeah, traffic. Yeah, usually it's bumper to bumper traffic, as my sister is saying. And we're here in the Tassa, so it's close. That's them right there in the back. It's about three. Let's get closer. What is this Thursday? Is there a certain name for today? The breaking down of Tija Day. It's called right. Tija Day. So there's Tija Day. They are breaking down the Tijas. As you can see how they are built, it's um, just a simple uh, white pine frames and then they put all the decorations on it. And they're breaking it down today and then they'll dispose of it in the sea. Well, well the biodegradable part will dispose of it in the sea. So this is the Balma house, right? Yeah, Balma. And this is their drum room. As you guys saw the drums in the video. So they have the drums laid out. Look at the bass in the back there. It's pretty cool. And this is where they build it. The wood frame is like this is Mombara. So Ijaz, this was the Balma house, right? This is the Balma house. Yeah. And now we're going to Besali. The Besali house. Which is the family. Alright, so one family has split into two. Okay. I have here. Let's see how it's from the Shine Up Abbas in Karabala. We got it down from some brothers. This was sale for 40 days until Arba Eve. It'll be in morning. So where from the black flag is up, it'll be in morning. But you get up Hussein. So this goes up on the first day of Muharram. These are the names of the martyrs of Karabala. And you can see Abbas. And Abbas was killed in Karabala. So he really belonged in Ashura. So this is why we build the Abbas moon. Right. But it's an Arbain right now, mm -hmm. but it will come out. So this is why there's all the members here. Yeah. Like this brother here, this is John. He was a Christian and he was killed in the battle. Wow. So this is why who say it have no discrimination. It matters not your religion, yeah. your race, your political status, it matters none. Right. All that matters is you believe in it. truth, right. justice, freedom. Mm -hmm. Do good to others. Right. You know the golden rule. Right. And that is it. This is where the holy earth yeah. of Karbala is. This is where the main prayers are said. So at the riot, Pusay riot, in Trinidad, where on the Chega plantation, where the Indian indentured slaves servants was, the American Pusay, 26 of them was, was killed in the Pusay riot in Trinidad. Today, as you all will see on the video, Kavamaritan who is still in Trinanta baby. A, a little changed it with different structures and with a, a new moon now because uh, back in those days it had three moon but it died out and two moon consists which is Imam Hussein and Imam Hassan. And now we, this small group has brought out the moon, commemorating the martyrdom of Ali and the life of Ali. We are known as White Moon which is Ya Ali Ya Hussein. And Ali is the father of Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. Mm -hmm. He was also the son-in-law of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He was also the cousin of the Prophet. Mm -hmm. And he is wife of the Baby Fatima Tamanya, which is the Prophet daughter. There is also known as the Alibi, which is the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Panchayati is the first city that was built in Trinidad in 1856. It was built by my great, 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 great grandfather. Nuru Muhammad and it was handed down to his son and it was handed down to my grandparents and now it's handed down to me. The Indians came here in 1845 but they came from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar so they brought their culture here with us. We have been carrying on this procession in remembrance of Imam Hussein. Now, when my great 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 grandfather inherited it, the Indians from the area, they were each building their own history. But the amount of Indians, the colonial police could not 
control them. So they came and they had a panchayat with the leaders, the heads of the, the community, and they acted because the one who sits to represent all the people. And so my great 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 grandfather, Nur Muhammad, inherited panchayat meeting. Panchayat meaning that a whole group of council came, all the people came together, and they the one who sits for the people. It's built by the people. 40 people. So we have been in existence for at least nearly 170 years. Or to be 170, to be 170 plus. And this is what we are today. This, this is where we reach in 2022. We have to commemorate the martyrdom of Imam Hussein because he died for Islam. It doesn't mean to say that because you are Sunni or because you are Shia, you believe in one thing and you, somebody else believes in something, we all believe in Almighty Allah. And at the end of the day, if it wasn't for Allah, there would be no Islam. This came from from something that those people believed in and I believe that it is something cherished. Yes. Many years ago in St. James, I had over 40 families built in We're talking about late 1800s, 1890 something, mm -hmm. early between 1910. And families may have moved out, some died, some migrated, and you know, it, 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 keep, it keep going on. And sometimes people never carry it on, but it so happened how it survived in St. James where four families, which is the Panchaiti, the Kokarit, which is the Ali family, mm -hmm. the Golam Hussein family. Golam Hussein, really, his name is really Karamat Ali. His name Golam Hussein, meaning slave of Hussein. They were a main yard, I mean, in, in the early times of Hussein, right? Mm -hmm. Keeping it alive. And then you have the Balma Hussein, which is my grandfather, Ali Hussein, in family. He started in 1915. In that family, we had a split where we started our own Hussein, which is Bisali. So mm -hmm. we are the youngest year. We mm -hmm. started in 1997. We, well, we, we started Louis own tech, so that's how we end up with five tajers now. Mm -hmm. All are governed by the St. James Cookery Hussein Association. Mm -hmm. They can't just come just so, yes, I'm going to get a bit of Hussein, but you want to have unity. You want to have that cohesiveness with everybody mm -hmm. together, you know? So this is why we have the two moons, which is green moon and red moon. The red representing Hussein, the green representing Hassan. Then you have the Panchayati Hussein, Pokhari, Galam Hussein, Balma and Bissali. They have different camps. Now, the Karbala, that call it Bissali, yeah. that is where the main prayers are set. So everybody come here for the main prayers and wherever you have the green moon and red moon, they build, they have their own places to build as well. They build in something called uh, Imam Bara. Imam Bara meaning a place of sanctity, a place, the house of the Imam. Mm. So in a Shia area, they will sanctify a share, a room, whatever it is, for them it was 10 days. And they will have reading. So they will have reading to the Quran. And next misconception, we do not pray to Hussein, we do not pray to Abbas, we do not pray to the Hussein or the moon. We pray to Allah and only Allah, the one true God. These things are just symbolic objects representing the, the tombs of Hussein, the moons or the sippers, representations of, of what took place in the battle. That's something I wanted to clear up. For sure. You know, we, got, we as Muslims, we read from the Quran mm -hmm. and we pay, pray only to Allah, nobody else. Alright guys, I'm here in St. James and as you can see, it's back to normal after all those nights of Hussein. I really do hope everyone enjoyed this video. I try to make it a bit more informational, get information on all the families and the meanings of the different things for Hussein. And I hope everyone will take this information. But what I really do hope everybody takes away from this is Hussein. Not being a celebration, it's more of a commemoration. But it is such a community event. Yes, it's predominantly a Muslim thing, but the St. James community comes together, no matter of religion or race or anything. And they celebrate Hussein together. And that is Trinidad in a nutshell. Every creed and race find an equal place so we could all learn a bit of how they run Hussein here in St. James. Thanks to everyone who contributed to this video, all the speakers who give all the information. I definitely want to give a special thanks to Ijaz. He knows who he is. He gave me so much help. He was like the fixer, introducing me to everyone, carrying me by all the different houses. I really do appreciate it. Again, I hope everyone enjoys the video and as always, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.